Hello, my amazing art friends. Last week, we learned all about the element of art, shape. We learned about circles, triangles, ovals, squares, and we practiced drawing them. This week, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our shapes and we're gonna put them together in a new type of art called a collage. A collage is a type of art where you take a bunch of little pieces and you put them together to create something new. So just like we got some of our shapes and put them on top of each other and combined them to create new things, we're gonna do that in a different way with a collage. I'm gonna teach you about scissor safety and how to cut out different shapes and then we'll create our collage today. We're gonna to read the story Mouse Shapes to help us get started on our project, and then I'll show you what to do. Mouse Shapes, written and illustrated by Ellen Stoll Walsh. The mice were running from the cat. Hurry, said Violet. Let's hide in here, said Martin. After a while, Fred said, Whew, I think we lost him. Look, we've been hiding in shapes, said Violet. We can make things with them. Here's a square. A triangle on top makes, a, makes it a perfect house for a little mouse. A triangle and a rectangle make a tree, said Martin. The, this circle is the sun. But these triangles are different, said Fred. Triangles are tricky, said Violet, but any shape with three sides is a triangle. Fred put two circles on a rectangle. It's a wagon for the little mouse in the house, he said. Two diamonds make a book for the little mouse to read. Here's one oval, two circles, and eight triangles, said Martin. It's a fish. Watch out, the cat likes fish, said Violet. Hey, let's make the cat, said Fred. Violet put on the eyes and nose. Fred stuck on the ears. And Martin added the teeth. It looks just like the real cat, he said, only better. Just then, the real cat pounced. The mice ran away and didn't come back until the cat was gone. That cat's too sneaky, said Violet. If only we were bigger. I have an idea, said Fred. The clever mice got to work. Soon they made three big scary mice. What shapes are they using? Circles, triangle, rectangle, square. And surprise the cat! The cat ran away fast. What a scaredy cat, said Violet. Now what can we make for the little mouse in the house? It's time for lunch, said Fred. Let's make him some Swiss cheese. So they did. The end. All right, to start our collage, you're gonna need to grab a couple of items first. You'll need a blank white piece of paper, uh, glue, either a stick or tape or a glue bottle, a pencil, some scissors, and then you will also need colored paper. So here I just have some colored paper scraps from different projects, but if you do not have colored paper, instead you can get a plain white sheet of paper and color with your crayons or markers on it and use that instead, okay? So before we get started, I wanted to talk for just a minute about scissor safety. Okay, so here is a pair of scissors and notice it has a larger hole and a smaller one. So your top three fingers go in the larger hole and your thumb goes in the small hole. All right, and your thumb is gonna be facing up towards you. So I'll put my thumb in the middle hole and then my bottom three fingers um, in the larger hole. And I always want to cut away from my body. I don't wanna cut towards my body because that is unsafe, all right? And so our scissor hand is our lazy hand. If you're left-handed, it's the same thing, okay? 
our hand that cuts doesn't move and swerve and go all the way around, it stays still. If we need to cut something that's round, instead what we do is we use our other hand to turn the paper, but our scissors stay still and just open and close. All right, so remember, keep scissors pointed away from you. Don't ever run with them. They are very sharp and they can hurt you, okay? So, we're gonna cut some shapes. So right now, my paper is already in a shape, but it's too big. So I'll have to make it a little bit smaller. So to do that, if I cut my paper right in half, I'm gonna take this rectangle and it's gonna turn into a smaller rectangle or almost a square, okay? And we're gonna be creating a collage of an animal, any kind of animal you want. But just like in the book, in mouse shapes, they create a collage of the cat, all right? So we're going to make a collage of an animal, whatever kind of animal you want. And to start, I'm just gonna show you different kinds of shapes to cut, and you will have to figure out what kind of shapes you will need to make your animal, okay? To cut a circle, if you want, you can draw a circle first, or you can just cut rounded edges off. Just cut off the corner to make a round edge. I will draw the circle, but you know what? I'll draw with a marker so you can see better. And because this is gonna be the head of my animal, the circle needs to be really big. And it is totally okay that this is not a perfect circle. It kind of looks like a weird rock. Not a big deal at all. So remember, our scissor hand is our lazy hand. So my other hand is gonna do all the work. My scissor hand is gonna stay still, and I'm just turning the paper with my other hand to make my circle. Boom. So now I have a circle for my head, and it also doesn't matter what color it is. The cat in this story, the collage they made was orange, but the cat in the book is white. So it's okay, your animal can be weird, crazy colors, not a big deal, okay? To make a square, I'm just gonna cut this rectangle a little bit smaller with a straight line. So now I have a square, but to make a triangle, check it out. If I turn it on a point, and I cut from one end to the other, watch what happens. <gasps> oh my goodness, I made two triangles. All right, but these triangles are too big. All right, so I'm gonna cut the point right here in the middle and then watch what happens. I made two other triangles, but they're a little bit smaller. Oh, they're still not, they're still too big. I'll cut on that really middle point again. <gasps> and I have another triangle. So I can use, oh, come here paper. I can use these papers for my triangles to make ears, okay? And I can put the ears behind the circle or on top of the circle. Notice I haven't glued anything yet because you're gonna cut out all your shapes first before you glue, okay? So I have two triangles. I can cut out smaller circles by drawing those all of your shapes, you're just gonna cut them out and put them together to create an animal. Whatever kind of animal you want. Remember, my scissors right here are being lazy. My left hand is doing all the work. Oop, there's one eyeball. And I can make another one. Boom, now I've got two eyeballs. It's totally okay that one is bigger than the other. Not a big deal at all. I can cut little pieces to make um, small little rectangles. I could use these for whiskers if I wanted. I'm just cutting out little pieces. I can put the whiskers over here. And so you're gonna build your creation, your collage, before you glue anything down, okay? Just in case you need things to go on top. I'll make another rectangle here. I could use a rectangle for the body if I wanted. Um, you can just do the head. You can do a whole entire head and body. I can cut the edges off to make a curve, to make an oval.
and I could use an oval for the body. I could scoot you over. Oh no, a whisker. All right, so you can make any shapes. You'll have to figure out which shapes you need for your animal in particular, all right? And when you're ready to glue, you're gonna start with the bottom layer first. So see how my whiskers are going on top of my body? That means I can't glue the whiskers down first. I have to glue the body down. So I'll just put a little bit of glue all around the edge. So I'm just gonna make one line around the edge. Boop. And then I can glue that down, give it a little rub, make sure it's nice and stuck. Same thing for the head, all around the edge. And my head is really giant compared to my body. That's okay. Same thing with the ears, just adding a little bit on the edge. All right, to create your collage. All right, so here is my completed collage of a cat. I did decide to add the body and the legs. So I made the body with an oval, rectangles for the whiskers and legs, a crescent for the tail, triangles for the ears and nose, and then circle for the head, eyes, and pupils. I cannot wait to see what shapes you use and what animal you create in your collage today. Happy creating.